So in this article, I'm going to show you how to look through the AEP proceedings from their recent conferences. So the American Association of Equine Practitioners have the world's biggest equine veterinary conference every year, usually in early December. And they put the proceedings, which are all the lectures and papers that were presented um, online afterwards. So I've on your equine nursing Moodle page, I've linked to some of the recent ones here. I was able to find the PDFs of the proceedings from 2015, 2017 and 2018. So um, it's a little bit more roundabout to search these, but it's well worth doing because the articles are really up to date and really practical and they're a very good source of evidence for your equine nursing assignments. So let's say we want to look in the 2018 proceedings. So if you click on the link here on the Moodle page, the document will download and depending on how your computer handles PDFs, it may open. I'm using a Mac, so mine opens in preview. Um, so the first thing I want to do is change the layout slightly to make it easier to look through this. So I'm going to go up to view and I'm going to change this to two pages instead of one. And that will mean that as I go down through it, I start seeing the pages side by side. So I want to go down to about page um, 14 or so. The first bit of the, of the proceedings have instructions for authors and so on. But what we want is the contents. So you can see here, they lay out the lectures by section. So first of all, if you look at the headings, you can see... Is there a heading here that appeals to, to me? So for example, if you're interested in foal care, let's have a look. Periogenology usually refers to, um, it's a bit like gynecology. It refers to um, pregnancy and birth in horses. So you can have a look in that section. Um, like for example, there's one here on retained fetal membranes in the mare. So if that was an article you're interested in, you could, you could find it here. So you can flick on down through the table of contents. Let's say then we do want to have a look at that uh, article on fetal membrane. It tells us here it's on page 240. So you can either, sometimes you can search for page numbers um, by this, or you can put in um, a word you're interested. In this case, the article is a uh, fetal membrane in the title. So you can see here, page 16 is giving me two matches. I know from this that the article is on page 240. So we can look here and see, is there a match to it? This is probably going to be the article. Okay, you can flick through it like this. So it's telling me it's in 14 sections. Where is it in the trite? I can keep flicking through it. Here we go, here's the article I want. Okay, so you can see this is the details of it here. The authors are Chelsea Burden, Margot McPherson, Malgosa Ralph Pesozer, uh, Steve Gear and Sarah Randall and Justin Hena. So you'll be re referencing this as Burden et al. 2018, the title is How to Utilise Controlled Manual Removal of Fetal Membranes in Mares. The journal is the American Association of Equine Practitioner Proceedings, that'll be in italics. Then you'll have volume 64, so it'll be 64, and then a comma, and then PP um, 240. And let's say I want to get rid of the structure, this is the article I want to stay with. So you can see here going through a 240 to 244, that's going to be my reference. Citing it. It will, I'll be citing Burden et al. 2018 in the text. Okay, And then you can also save the whole proceedings to your Mendeley library if you want. Um, unfortunately, there isn't a way to just snip out the article you want. But what you can do is bookmark it. So I go up here to Tools and add bookmark. I can add a bookmark on page 240. So when I then want to uh, find this article again, like for example, if I go back to the top, let's see, I flick away from it and tools um, I want to view bookmarks and it'll show me I've put a bookmark here on this page so I can go back and find the article rapidly again. So little tips like that will help you navigate your way through these documents um, and f easily find articles of interest once you've come across them um, once or twice. So hopefully that's helpful as well. Thanks.